When I'm in a forest or a woodland, I like to get really close to subjects for nice detailed shots. And of course, one of the subjects that you're gonna find plenty of in a forest are leaves. They change color at different times of year, they're different sizes, shapes, but they're always packed with detail. So forget about those big shots for a moment and get close, see what you can find. So I'm in this slightly shaded area here looking for contrasts of light and dark. I want to find some leaves that are brightly lit by the sunlight that's dappling through the treetops, but I want to photograph them against a nice dark shadowy background so that they really pop on the photos. If you're really lucky, you might even find an insect that's uh, conveniently posing on one of the leaves. Now I've got a butterfly here, so I'm just going to get ever closer to it. And the trick with insects, or in fact any kind of wild animals, is to take a picture from a distance, because remember, most cameras are pretty high resolution, you can always crop later, but then just keep getting closer and closer, and just keep taking more and more pictures. As close as you dare, as close as the animal or the insect allows you to go, before in this case it flies off. And keep taking photos as you do it. And each one should hopefully be better than the last. And remember, it's directly lit by sunlight here, so if I can compose the shot so that it's against a darker area, it will really stand out. The closer you get, the greater the chance you have of being able to employ a shallow depth of field effect. Now the leaves are moving in the breeze, it's a focusing challenge, but if you take lots of pictures, you will get some that are in sharp focus. And I'm just tapping the screen to continually update that focus. See, I'm really close. When you get this close, be careful about the shadows that you're actually casting on the insect. And I'm really pleased with that now. I've got the picture I want. I'm going to move away and let it enjoy its day. I love the detail on leaves, the fine lines, the veins, the serrated edges to them. But I find the best way to photograph them light-wise is to strongly backlight them. And there's no stronger backlight than the sun. So what I'm doing here is positioning the leaf directly in between me and the sun and then snap that picture as soon as it is. The sun will shine through the leaf and you'll get way more detail than if the sun was actually just shining directly on its face. And if you get a little bit of sun shining through the corners, even better. We're after contrast here, light and dark, something dramatic. This is a fairly dynamic environment. Even on a very light, breezy day, those leaves are going to be moving around a lot, which presents a challenge in terms of focus and also in terms of motion blur, although it doesn't always look bad in the picture. So the trick, as always, is to take lots of pictures, and I guarantee one of them will be nice and sharp. And when that light goes through the leaf and you have it in sharp focus, the detail looks absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.